Hi everybody, Michael B. The Game Genie here, and you are watching Glenn's Record Show. That, that's that's got to be wrong. It's Glenn's Retro Show, and it's flantastic. <laughs> Everybody. Thank you for joining me on today's edition of Glenn's Retro Show. Well, we've been kind of busy behind the scenes. Um, we've been working on a couple of products people have been asking for. One of the things we're currently working on right now is the uh, Glenn's Retro Show trackball for the Arcade 1UP Golden T. Uh, we're getting some pretty good progress on that. They'll probably be available sometime, maybe uh, during the summer time. Um, it's been working pretty well. Just have to make a, a new case design uh, for it to fit properly in the Golden Tees. It's does use a larger ball and a larger uh, ball area. Another thing we people have been asking for is the uh, At Games trackball replacement. And I'm happy to say that Progress has gone very well with that as well. And uh, we should have that also available probably around the summertime of this year. The third thing people have been asking for a lot actually goes back to my Tron joystick. Obviously you can see I built my Tron machine right here. I'm very proud of this machine. I love the arcade game. It's a, it's a simple game overall. It's only got four stages that repeat, but it's just a really, really good game. Here's the light cycle game right here. And this light cycle game is what's kind of been bringing people up to the forefront of what's going on. Now, the original Tron joystick was an eight-way joystick because four of the games in Tron do require uh, eight-way in there. The only one that requires the four-way is the light cycles. And the joystick that they designed was an eight-way joystick, but it had some special kind of weird how they designed it but it mimicked a four-way when you played the light cycle it had like a dampener in there so the eight ways were softened so the light cycles worked better it wasn't actually a true mechanical switch but a lot of people feel and I do tend to agree that the light cycle game is very difficult using an eight-way joystick just because a little touch in the wrong direction can have your car veer off in some weird weird angles so everyone has been asking for some way to obviously change that. Now when you purchase the Tron joystick, we do include optional gates you can snap in there for eight-way or four-way control, but you have to gain access to them. You need to have to take the joystick out to pop it off. It's not really something you can really do you know, during a fast-paced game like, uh, like Tron. So we've been partnering with some other people and we have a very good idea. It's actually not hard to put in, but we've come up with a gate switcher. Now this gate switcher will allow you through the push of a button to switch your machine from a four-way to an eight-way, back to a four-way gate, at will. Uh, it has a button here, but the button actually has two buttons side by side. Blue will represent one of the gate switches and the red will represent the other gate switches, four or eight. And the installation is extremely simple. You simply remove the gate from the bottom of your current Tron joystick and incorporate this little device right here. It does require uh, 5 volts uh, to run the controller board and a spot obviously to put your switch. So this is actually just a sample uh, prototype of the unit. But uh, let's take a look and see how it works today on Glenn's Retro Show. Because here we have the uh, GRS uh, Tron joystick and currently in the bottom we do have a 4-way restrictor gate. You just have to pop these little tabs up and uh, you know, this, this will come right off uh, just like so. And basically uh, you're now ready to install the new device. So. You can see here's the, the Tron joystick with the uh, the micro switches on it right here. And we have our fire button and uh, LED wires right here. Here is the uh, the restrictor gate that we're working on. And right now you can see it's set up as an eight way. It's completely open right here. We have five volts of power going into the controller board. And the controller board can control up to four. So if you have a four player uh, control panel with four joysticks in there, maybe four Tron joysticks, you can now change the restrictor gate between the two modes. Now you can see right now here's our a button but it's actually two buttons here right now it's set to blue and blue is going to be my eight-way gate but if i could switch it over to the red you can see we now made it a four-way up down left to right the diagonals are now blocked and then we can go back very easily go back to the blue very simple design and it's something you can do during the game so to install this again it's very very simple so we're going to go through the process of putting this in my uh, arcade one up Tron build right now. There's a 68.71% chance you're right. Yes.
Okay, so the first thing we need to do, obviously, is take off your control panel. So I'm going to work on that right now, getting my screws out here. And the control panel was a control panel that I designed for do-it-yourself retro arcade. And if you do like this control panel, you can go right to do-it-yourself retro arcade and pick this up. I designed it so you can have your Tron joystick and play your Tron game with a spinner, but also have a trackball. And I put two buttons over here for the spinner for playing, playing games like, you know, Tempest. And then when doing trackball, missile command, you can play with either one of these two buttons or use these two buttons here for the spinner. I just try to put buttons out for all different type of, uh, you know, game layouts. I'm gonna take these screws out. Okay, once we have our screws out, we have to take off our control panel right here. And again, depending on how much space you have, you might have more room to work with or less room. And I do have a lot of wires down here, so let me fix this here real quick. Okay, so once you get your control panel out, the one thing we need to do here on the Tron joystick, we do have our button and LED wires here. So I have to take these out for a moment. So it's going to take these wires apart right here. They're quick connectors, so they'll come right off. And they're color coded, so you can't make a mistake later. And the only reason we're taking these off, put these two aside for a second, hope they're not going to disappear on me. Let's see, put them like this. Yeah, that should work. As we need to take this gate off. Now you can see right here, I have a a circular gate here so I can have all directions but obviously in games like Pac-Man or one of the stages of Tron itself with the light cycles that's not ideal so it's gonna pop it off and there's just these tabs here just gonna press them and you can see the gate comes right off very very easy like so and expose your joystick right here okay so once you have the gate off you want to put on your new uh, there's no name for this technically yet. Let's call this the four eight-way GRS Tron gate, I guess. Big name. We'll probably change it later. But uh, right now, this one is 3D printed. Um, but it should be more than adequate for here. So it just basically slides over like so. And it's going to click it in place. That's it. Now, the next thing we need to do is reconnect our wires over here so we don't lose these two over here. So the installation is very easy to do. Like so. Yes, I know my wire management's not great. I'm always going inside here. Till it's finalized, it's going to be a bit of a mess. But you can see in, on the, this bottom of this panel, we have our Tron stick, our new switcher right here. I have a couple of just standard USB zero uh, delay encoders here for some of the buttons. My GRS version 2 light up uh, trackball. My version uh, 2 spinner. And my USB converter for them. And a bunch of buttons. So eventually this will also, there's double-sided tape on here. I'll mount this on here somewhere for now. I'm not going to do that. Just going to basically just do a quick test, but I have to plug in the power, you num-nums. So we need to get our power cord over here, like so. And this, uh, whoop, whoop, there we go. This will be in the kit. So we need to get the power to this, which will get down here. There we go. And then we're simply going to run the power to our encoder board over here. Let's try to get this a little bit out of the way. For now, so we'll run power into our board. We have some LEDs to let us know that we're getting power. And you can see it did engage. And right now it's set to a four-way mode. So if I take my joystick here, it's only allowing me to go in these four directions. I can't get to the other modes. In the red, and that's in the uh, four-way mode. And now we're in our full usage mode. And go back to the red. And now we're in our four-way mode. Let's close this thing up and give it a try. Now for right now, I'm just gonna have this standing out the side because I haven't decided where I'm gonna mount it yet. And now we're able to give this a try. Let's see how this thing works in Tron. Bring in the logic probe. Okay, so we have this uh, up and running right now. And this particular uh, machine I have running here is Windows 7. I still like Windows 7. I'm not a 10 fan at all. Won't have a choice eventually, but for now, running Windows 7. And here is the uh, controller properties using the encoder that came with the Tron joystick. You can use your own, obviously, but I'm using the one that came with my controller. And you can see here is the button for the GRS uh, 4 8 way uh, gate switcher. And you can see right now it's set to the blue mode, like so. And in the blue mode, it should be set for eight-way direction. So if you look right here, this is for the uh, digital, I'm sorry, analog. 
here's a digital, you'll see a red dot. So here's the red dot, and you can see it's able to go to all eight spots right now. I'm set to the eight direction mode. Now, if you had an Intellivision, it'd be 16, but we don't care about that for these type of machines. You can see I have all eight restrictor uh, available on the joystick, so I can move in any direction I want. Now, using the button right here, I could press the other side. You can see it turns to red, like so. And now I should be restricted to four directions. Here's up. As you can see, I can only hit the diagonals. So for Light Cycles, Pac-Man, Dig Dug, uh, Ladybug, games that require four directions, you're now set to only go to four. And then again, by pressing this again, we'll go to the blue mode, and we're set to blue. All open, hit the other side, and now I'm set to four. It's very, very quick. Very, very quick. So let's go try playing Tron and seeing how it plays. Okay, so we have everything set here, ready to go. Again, the control panel was designed by me for do-it-yourself retro arcade. So if you do like this control panel, you want to have all these different buttons on here, trackball, spinner, joystick, do-it-yourself retro arcade can hook you up with this panel. Now, right now I'm set to the blue mode right here, like the color of my joystick. So that means I'm set to eight directions. So let's start the game and see how this works out. This is an eight direction uh, mode game. See if we get a light cycle game. And we did. We're gonna switch this over to red. I'm now it's four way locked. Still crashed, still play horribly. Let's try that again. We're in the red mode. That was definitely me, not the joystick. God, I suck at these games. Let's see here. That's better. Now I'm going to switch it back to 8-way because the other games are all going to be 8-way. I was just here. See if we get a light cycle game. Nope, got the tanks. Okay, 50-50. Nope, not light cycles yet. Made it. Well, obviously the last one left is going to be light cycles. We're switched over to the red mode, and this has to be light cycles. Ah, 
four or eight way direction gate's not gonna help you playing bad. Let's try that again. See, that car only go in four directions, no ladders or steps, I should say. I can only go in four directions. I can't make these little staircase style things. Can I get life cycles again, maybe? Well, I'm going to try the four way here because it's a little more difficult, but I'll leave it in four way just because. Holy Toledo, they're going to get me! I'm de -rezzed. Can we get a light cycle? Can we get a light cycle? We'll do tanks in four way. I'm probably going to be in trouble here again. Ah, oh, derezzed again. 50 50 shot. Oh, the game's over. Oh, well, let's try a different game. You know, let's play Pac Man, which would be a game you would definitely play with a four way direction lock gate. Okay, I've loaded up Miss Pac Man, which is a game, again, you want to use a four way direction lock gate. I'm in the red mode, which means I am in a four-way mode. <coughs> Let's give it a try. <laughs> Games like this, you definitely want to have a four-way gate. It just makes, you know, doing the mazes that much more fluid. And not having to go underneath is a plus. Just a quick press of the button and you switch your gates. No frustration level going, oh, I didn't mean to go that way. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Stuck past me. Nice try. Oh, <laughs> so close. Of course, if I wanted to, I could go right here, switch it to the blue mode, which is eight-way mode, and now I have full control of the joystick again. But in a game like Pac-Man, you really don't want to play it like this, but you could. Let's see here. So right now I'm in eight-way mode. But on the fly, I can switch to the four-way mode. Of course, the better you spot you put your button, the easier it would be to obviously hit it. Oh, bitter butt. Or his butt. Oh, trapped. Can I finish the level? So that's what we get. So we're trying to make this available as soon as possible. I expect in the next few months uh, or sooner we should have this available for purchase. 
for your Tron joystick and it will be compatible with any joystick that we manufacture. Just clip on the bottom and go. And again, the board supports up to four uh, gate switchers. So if you have a, you know, a four-way a Turtles game or something like that, you can switch the gates there as well. So we're making this available. We're also working on the At Games Legends Ultimate uh, Rollerball. Uh, we should have that available shortly, and as well as the Golden Tee Rollerball. So we're moving along with the projects as fast as we can. I do appreciate all your support. I appreciate you guys liking and sharing this video. Please leave any comments down below. I do read them. And remember, no matter what you do or how you do it, just remember to game on and have fun. the arcade fan page remember don't admire people too much they'll disappoint you Sit, blue, blue, sit. Good dog.